So what's going on everybody? Adam Neely with Build, Guild, and Refine TV. Coming back at you with another episode. Alright guys, so I wanted to give you a review on my daily work boot. Now it's not necessarily what I work in, but it's what I wear every day for comfort. And if I want to work, it'll protect my feet, it's durable, etc. You can catch the review that I did on the Carhartt 6 inch wedge sole boot. And you can also catch the review on the Carhartt Rigby Rugged Flex Overalls right there. So, today we are talking about the Georgia Wedge Sole Boot. I love Wedge Sole Boots because I have a bad back, as many of you know, and this sole is extremely comfortable to wear all day because it absorbs all the impact throughout the entire foot rather than having a cutout here so that the heel is not connected to the, the, the rest of the foot. When your boots have a cutout, much like this area, right there, you're not getting quite as much even distribution of the weight throughout the day. You've got a heel and then you've got the rest of the sole. So a lot of times, the arches of your feet can hurt because of that, believe it or not. So guys, when you're looking at your boots, think about that. When you have this flat sole, this wedge sole, evenly distributing all the weight from the body, it takes less of a toll on the back and the feet. I don't know if that's science, but that's definitely science according to Adam, because that's what I've found. Now, the Carhartt six inch wedge sole has a thicker wedge. If you see the comparison here, it's just a little thicker throughout, but it has more of a ramp right there, whereas the Georgia has a little less. Now, one of the best things about these Georgias is craftsmanship. It feels and looks like a good piece of leather. It doesn't look like plastic. One thing I'd say about the Carhartts that I'm not too keen on is it has more of a plasticky, cheap look. The Carhartts have a nice thin layer of padding, so it's not bad. Whereas the Georgias are leather throughout the inside of the boot with a nicer ankle pad, much thicker. So you actually have some padding at the ankle where it counts. Now one thing I like about having the remainder of the boot being just leather, not lined, is that it breaks in really easily and it's really comfortable all day. I can wear these much longer throughout the day than I can wear these. Now just like you, my body has been heavily abused from working for so many years. So everything that I wear and everything that I use to do my job I keep in mind how it's going to take a toll on my body. These boots, the Georgia boots, are very comfortable. The tongue has enough padding, but it's not stiff or hard. Now I put insoles in all of my boots. I put an extra insole. I have narrow feet. I'm a size 10. I like my boots to fit a little more snug so there's not a lot of wiggle room, and I always put an insole in there. So the other thing I want to comment about the Georgia boot is just the shape. Maybe you don't care about aesthetics, but I like a boot that looks good. And the shape of this Georgia boot, the toe, the ankle, the sole, looks really good. I'm also going to do a review soon on Canada's favorite boot, the Kodiak. Or I guess that's what... Kodiak says, they're Canada's favorite boot. Now this is more of a casual wedge sole. I just, I haven't worn these, I just got these. Um, I'm not gonna wear them for a while. And the Carhartt is more of a, of a work boot. It is relatively new-ish, uh, so it's not terribly broken in. But it's already losing some of the shape in the toe, and the leather just doesn't feel as nice as the Georgia boot. The Georgia boot I have worn a lot more casually. Um, and I love the way it looks. It looks really sharp. Nope, not the Kodiak. But the Georgia 
and the Carhartt are oil and slip resistant. The Georgia feels significantly lighter than the Carhartt in the hands and on the foot. So that's something to consider. But some guys like a heavier boot. I think they prefer working in a heavier boot. Um, I don't. I prefer working in a lighter boot. So overall, I think the Georgia boot is a great purchase if you need something that's durable for working, but you're also concerned with comfort. I'm curious to see how these hold up uh, long term for abuse because I wouldn't necessarily recommend this boot to a mason, let's say. Um, and I don't know if I'd even recommend the Carhartt to, to somebody who's in, in that trade. Um, I, you know, I, I've had some Red Wings before, and I, I think the Red Wings, even the Thorough Goods, um, I think that's more of the boot that you're going to want to wear for real heavy abuse. Uh, but the Georges feel great. And I actually really like the black line in the wedge sole because it hides dirt a little more, whereas, you know, all these other white wedge soles, you know, they get stained. Once you get an oil stain in these, I mean, you know, you're going to be pissed off every time you wear them. But it happens. Um, so the Carhartts advertise as being waterproof. And I don't think the Georges do. But, I mean, obviously it's a good leather. So but let's take a look inside. All right, so as I mentioned, I have narrow feet. Uh, I'm a size 10 but I usually go down half a size in my work boots, so these are nine and a halfs. They fit relatively tightly in the toe box. I've got a little bit of room, but not much. And I've got an insole in here because, again, my feet are narrow. So I like the way they fit. Uh, I do have enough room in my toes for it to not be a problem. So overall, I think that this Georgia boot is a great purchase. Now lastly, the most important thing that makes the Georgia boot an awesome purchase is the cost. For a work boot that's built this well and is this comfortable for only $85, I'll keep buying these over and over. As long as they hold up. Because the Carhartts were, I think, $135, and the Red Wings and the Thorough Goods and some of its other competitors are two to three times that much. So the Georgia boot is a lot of boot for your money. All right, so that's about it for today. There's my quick review on the Georgia six inch wedge sole work boot. I'm Adam Neely with Build, Guild, and Refine TV. Thanks for watching.